sources and those types of things. But the first, first point is prove it's here, make people look for it. Tina Front, a trafficking survivor and founder of Courtney's House, spoke at the luncheon about misconceptions associated with sex trafficking. As a survivor, I think I really want people to know is that there is no one face of sex trafficking. There is not one story of sex trafficking. Everybody is different. Every color, every race, every age can be forced into it. Every economic stance, none of that has anything to do. Men don't call up a trafficker and say, I really want the poor child. Do you have her? This is not about that. This is about selling a product, a child. And so what I really want people to know is that don't judge because you don't know who you're sitting next to that could be going through something right now. Listen, understand, and not pigeonhole people so they can tell you what's going on. The Iowa Department of Justice encourages people to be on the lookout and report if there are any signs of abuse. Well, if you're wrong, no harm, no foul. But if you're right and you don't say something, that child goes down the road to a, a fate you and I can't imagine. And I'd rather you send me out a hundred times for nothing instead of not call me the one time we could have made a difference. For more information, you can visit www.chrysalisfnd.org. Another organization helping the less fortunate of Des Moines is the Joppa Outreach Program. Reporter Julie Smith shows how this group has been improving the lives of conditions of the local homeless. It's quiet, almost serene. For Matt and Terry, it's home. If we can just get you guys into a home, get you a job, you know, it's hard. It's hard to even get a job when you're down here. On, on, yeah, I mean, once you're on the river, it's hard to even get a job, you know, because you have no access to go to work. You have, you know, you don't have the means to clean up to go to work. You know, There's nothing downtown no. that's higher. You know, no, it, it, it's like that exists. And you start feeling hopeless and helpless, yeah. you know. Joppa outreach volunteers like Missy help give people like Matt and Terry hope. Many people in the Des Moines community have gotten involved by volunteering for Joppa's sixth annual homeless camp cleanup days. Each year, volunteers assist the local homeless community in cleaning up existing and vacated camps. The goal is to restore former homeless camps to their natural state and help campers tidy up active camps. Active campers do their part to keep their areas clean, and in turn, Joppa helps by taking their trash to the dump. I hate to see them leaving all that stuff laying around like that, because they just run the, you know, the rest of the campers and they tear up the place like that. Well, you know what? That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. And you know what? Do they, if they didn't do that, guess what? We wouldn't have anything to do, and you guys wouldn't get to meet us. So, the cleanup know. is a huge undertaking, but it leaves a smile on everyone's face. In just two camp cleanup days, volunteers managed to clean up almost two tons of trash. To get more information about what Joppa does, visit joppaoutreach.org. Stay tuned. Following the break, we will have some insight to Des Moines' unique event and entertainment scene. You're on your way to meet up with friends, but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. Welcome back to Studio 100. When visitors come to Living History Farms in Urbandale, they can try the trades of blacksmithing, horse driving, and even pioneer hearth cooking. On March 8th, visitors tried a whole new trade, craft beer. Living History Farm's annual Beer and Bread event introduced visitors to some of the state's up-and-coming bakeries and microbreweries. And thanks to Iowa's growing craft beer industry, attendees had the chance to try eight different microbreweries' products. Beer and Bread is part of the farm's Cabin Fever event series. The Cabin Fever events remind visitors that Living History Farm's is still going strong even in the winter. And for the eight microbreweries represented, the event provided conversation and customer feedback. The next Living History Farm special event is Tractor Day, sponsored by the Van Wall Equipment. The event runs from 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. on May 10th and will feature antique farm equipment, tractor races, and kids' crafts. 
An annual family event that was held this spring was the 2014 Iowa Horse Fair. As the event got underway, Iowa Horse Council President Bill Paintner revealed a secret that may shock you. Would you like to find a good side? Bill Paintner, president of the Iowa Horse Council, has a big secret. Of the thousands of passionate horse lovers the 2014 Iowa Horse Fair brought in, he's not one of them. Well, <clears throat> I'm not really into horses much. Their ears are too short. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a mule guy. <laughs> and and uh, I've ridden mules. I've been uh, uh, ridden in 19 states. Since I've retired and don't have a real job, uh, we've, we've ridden a lot. Paintner's passion for mules has taken him across the nation, from wagon train mule days in Columbia, Tennessee, to an eight-day ride from Corpus Christi to San Antonio, Texas. But what started his love for these equine? Um, <clears throat> we bought a mule to keep a horse company. Uh, we had a horse, we lived on the south side of Des Moines at that time, and a 14-year-old teenage daughter who was horse crazy and wasn't really real wild about having a stepfather. And I told her we would give her $200 or buy her a horse. I would have been better off to have given her $1,000 <laughs> for what we ended up spending on horses. <laughs> Paintner has served as the president of the Iowa Horse Council for five years as the Iowa Horse Fair celebrates 30 years of being the largest equine trade show in the state of Iowa. While the Horse Fair volunteers are busily planning for the 2015 Iowa Horse Fair, Paintner will continue to be a mule guy. Well, that wraps up our spring look at the Des Moines community. From food, sports, activism, and entertainment, we hope you found something new our great city has to offer. From all of us here at Studio 100, thank you for tuning in.